Hi there, everybody. It's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Halsey here from slim and stylish.stampingup.net. And I'm going to be creating a series of videos using this simply sparkling online exclusive stamp set. This isn't available in any catalogue, but you can get it from my store, slimandstylish.stampingup.net, and I'm going to be using all the fruity pieces. I have a whole host of videos to bring to you using these. So if you've seen the start of this video before, don't worry, it will be a different card. Um, I'm just using the same introduction for each one. So do skip to two minutes if you want to. But basically what I'm going to do is get a piece of A4 paper and I'm going to stamp all these images out and I'm going to do them a whole host of times, colour them all in, then I'm going to fussy cut them all out and I'm going to create a different video with the pieces from it. So you can see we've got loads of different fruit going on here. I have put them on lots. For the lemons, I am using Daffodil Delight, light and dark, and I'm just going to blend them like that. And I'm using Granny Apple Green, light and dark for all of the leaf pieces across all of the fruit so that it all ties in nicely together. For the strawberry, I'm using Pebble Path for the little pit bits, and then Sweet Sorbet, light and dark for the remainder of the strawberry, so that they look like that. I'm going to be using Flirty Flamingo Light and Dark for the cherries and I'm colouring them in again so this is how they will look finished effect and then Light and Dark Pumpkin Pie for the um, peaches. Finally I've decided to make the orange slices into pink grapefruit and I have used Dark Calypso Coral on the rind and then Petal Pink for the middle bits. Once I've coloured them all in, I'm going to go over the top with Wink Stella, so they're all shining absolutely lovely and brilliantly. And then I'm going to fussy cut each one out. Now, when you're fussy cutting them, this is how I'm going to fussy cut them. I'm going to go around the fruit and around the leaves so it leaves them attached, okay? So hopefully you can see from each one here how I fussy cut them. But I didn't want to spend hours going through all of that with you. Now I've got these cut out, I'm going to pop them all into a tub with all the rest of them and start creating my cards. Here is today's. So today's card is really fun and bright and we're going to be using these bubbles to create some background texture. So you want your base card stock, so this is 10.5 centimetres by 14.8 and what I've just done is got some scrap paper that is also the same width at 10.5 centimeters and I've stamped my sentiment which is best ever. I'm going to cut this out and I'm cutting just below the sentiment so it doesn't matter how wide you do this it's up to you however you wish and whatever sentiment you're using and then I'm going to be popping a couple of strips of this lovely six by six real blingy paper that's from the annual catalog it is really good comes in gold, comes in champagne, and it's just fun. I've cut it into half, and I'm going to be sticking my sentiment mount onto that so it just gets a little bit of the dazzle on either side. Okay, so I'm just sticking the bottom, and then I'm going to stick the top, and then I'm going to cut it so that they're flush together and create a lovely little topper for this card. Now, I've stuck it down with seal, but because of the diamonds on that card, it is quite a grit. So also make sure that you add some other type of adhesive on there to keep it in. And I've just popped the dimensionals over the top of both the strip and the cardstock so it keeps it together and then took the backs off there. But before I stick it down, I'm going to want to make a note of where it's going and draw a little line because this is where the fun comes at the back of this sentiment. So I have got the um, sort of the bubbles and this is in lemon lime twist and I am just stamping this in various directions along the back to create sort of like a swirl of the bubbles. We've then also got the fizz. Now this fits perfectly on the soda can that was in there, but I'm just also using it for added texture here. So it's smoky slate and I'm just popping a couple of stamps of these around where that line area is. Now that I've stamped, you can't see the line, but as you can see, now I'm adding my panel on the top. You can see that you can just see the background of the dots and the background of the fizz. 
You then want to grab the fruit that you have. You can pick whichever ones you want. You could use all of them. You could use one of them, but just keep layering them onto this card to create a really fun pop of color. Now, I've tried to do this a little bit symmetrical where I've put the cherries over the lemons on both sides and I'm going to pop the peaches on as well. Now, it's really up to you how you do this. You can put either or you can change them. You can mess them around. You can put dimensionals underneath. You can stick them flat. You can put them on the banner. You can put them under the banner. You can put them half on, half off. Really up to you. The possibilities are endless with how you create this card but you just want to get as much color onto it as possible. Don't cover up all of the background detail you've done. Keep some of the bubbles and the spray coming out, but you do want to try and get the focus to be on these fruit pieces and just keep adding them in. I loved this card. When it finished, it looks bright. It looks happy. It's just good fun. And it's something that you can do with any stamp set. So if you don't have this fruit one, but you have one was with flowers on and you've decided to bulk cut those out, you can do the same thing with those and have loads of flowers and leaves around. It's fine. You can use this on so many different types of stamp sets. So now I'm sticking the top part of the card and I'm going to adhere this onto the base. It should sit flush because it's the same size, 10 and a half centimeters by 14.8. And there you have it. I'm going to take the sentiment here, friend. I've used this quite a bit with this best ever so that I can put best ever friend onto my card. And I'm just going to cut this really close and really tight so that it doesn't take any focus away from the rest of the card. And I'm just flagging the end like that. And then I can stick it round where these cherries are just so it pops out of the card and you can see that it says best ever friend, but your focus isn't taken from the fruit and the main sentiment. It is just such a fun and happy card, I think, right? I didn't put any embellishments really on it because you've got the, um, the, like, the popping, but I did use some metallic effects just so we could get some black on there and even the color tones up. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. If you have enjoyed, please do subscribe. Give me a like because it really does help with my interactions. And thanks for watching. Come back again soon. Everything I've used today is available from my store, slimandstylish.stampingup.net. And you can find me over on Instagram at slimandstylish.